Hi, welcome to A to Z. D for defence. Does Europe have an army? How can the Union defend itself if a member state is attacked? The EU doesn't have a big joint army, but there is a European security and defence policy. It's called the ESDP. So how does the ESDP work? ESDP. Let's see. The EU does not have a common army for all member states, but it can send soldiers around the world on behalf of the EU. Its mission, to intervene in serious international crises to keep the peace and to help populations who are threatened by conflicts or natural disasters. The EU now coordinates more and more missions in other countries. It works together with the United Nations. It's present on three continents with a wide range of aims, like destroying arms and advising foreign armies, monitoring elections or protecting sea traffic from pirates. Bit by bit, Europe is becoming capable of assembling naval and air forces, and also troops. 1,500 to 3,000 European soldiers must always be ready for action at very short notice. This is what we call military rapid response. Europe has joint organisations to carry out these operations. It relies on the military capability of member states, but the EU does not have a common defence with a fixed army. European countries are divided on this subject. Some countries are neutral, like Austria and Finland. Others, like the United Kingdom and some Eastern European countries, prefer to be allied with the United States and to rely on NATO for defence. But the 27 member states do agree about defending each other. If one of them is attacked, all the others must help in every way possible. This obligation does not apply to neutral countries or states that have defence agreements with other military organisations. Well, that's reassuring. Bye.